What's up, everybody? I'm back, and I got some Outriders demo gameplay. I'm going to be dropping a few videos, playing out this whole demo, trying it out. I'm super hyped for this game. When it comes out, I'm going to be definitely playing this. This game and Returnal are what I'm looking forward to the most so far for the PS5. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you guys are hyped for this game or not. And let me know if you guys enjoy it or not. It looks incredible. It reminds me a lot like Gears of War gameplay wise. And if you guys didn't know already, Gears of War was my favorite game on 360. Gears of War 3 was my favorite game ever actually. So anyways, enjoy this video. Let me know how you guys have been doing. Please leave a like, subscribe, tell your friends so I can gather some more uh, subscribers. And I'll catch you again later. The anomaly should have killed us, but instead, it left us something more, altered and outrider. Only we can lead them to a future. Whatever we were before, we're something new now. We were given a second life. We can't waste it. Almost looks like home. 
That's what worries me. Well, boss. You're ready. Got my truck. When snipers at three and six, multiple defense lines and an operating base established within the hour. Move! Goodman, a word. You know the stakes of this mission. Flores is already half dismantled. Our engine's on its way down to power a city of half a million. Now, if these outrider bozos hit pay dirt, you report to me first. Sir, I'm only here to answer a proper procedure this fall. We're not on Earth, Shearer. There is no proper procedure. Listen up, outriders. I know what you're all thinking. There's no going home. And no one has a clue what's waiting for us out there. But the ECA pencil heads can't green like this land until we find their missing probes. So let's do our job! Stretch my damn legs. I'll take point. Don't need to see you get eaten on day one. Relax, Outrider. You don't owe me anything. Cap, I wouldn't be here without you. I'd be buried in the ashes back home. <laughs> All right. Let's move out. Stay sharp. Watch our sixes. <sighs> Would you smell that air? I can't even process breathing air that doesn't smell like a burnt carburetor. I didn't mind the air back on Earth. I was used to it. <laughs> Trust me, you'll get used to fresh air too. Truth is, none of us should even have gotten off Earth. Survivor's guilt. You think any one of us isn't feeling it? It's not just that. If the Caraval's engine hadn't exploded back on Earth and killed most of the real Outriders with it, there wouldn't be a bunch of mercenaries down here in their place. I hired you because you don't let anything get in your way. Here. Outrider, set a beacon flag. Let HQ know the area is secure. People, we got jobs to do. Cuthbert, Scarstead, set up a perimeter. I want fortifications going up within the hour. Jakob, you're field testing the munitions. Gutman, get your scanner up and running so we can find those damn probes. Outrider, a word. Hey. No matter what happens out here, I need my best gun on this in case things go south. Can I depend on you? Just tell me what to do, Cap. Our weapons haven't been fired in nearly a century. Why don't you head over to Yakov and get your gear checked, and then be prepared to move out as soon as those probes are located. Any questions? No word from Earth, I assume? It's really gone? She went dark 15 years into our journey. More or less as predicted. ECA's confirmed no communication since. Oh, shit. 
You know, I uh, grew up a slum dog, fighting for scraps. Lost everyone, really, long before the end. Doomsday just wasn't a thing I worried about. Hell, I wasn't gonna live past 20 anyway. Somehow, <laughs> I was one of the ones who made it. Don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. As things go right, time's coming, you're gonna have to leave all that behind. This is a new beginning. You could have a family here, build a cabin, grow old and get fat. Yeah, that's not me, Cap. Know my way around bullets, not kids. There's gonna be no need for someone like me here. Maybe the old you, Outrider. But you're one of the chosen few. You get to build the future. Don't waste it. Did any more of your people make it off Earth, Cap? My brother. Almost. But no. They got him in cryo as we evacuated L.A. Hoping we could stop the bleeding. Ah, he was too far gone. Oh, shit. Sorry to hear that. I haven't had the time to think about it. What about Sarah? She's good, right? Yeah. My Sarah's up there. They don't wake her group for another six months, but I can wait. I'm, uh... I didn't have a chance to tell you this and all the madness, but... My little girl's pregnant. That's how I got her the seat. <laughs> it's a two-for-one special, huh? So that's why you've been in such a good mood since they unfroze your ass. Don't push it out right. <laughs> yes, sir. Granddad, sir. I'll go find Jakob's shooting range. Good. We're on standby for those probes, so stay on alert. What's on your mind, boss? I know that look you get. What do you make of this place, Jakob? It's perfect. Beautiful. How long you want to bet before we bury it all under concrete and plastic? Oh, come on. You can't still be that cynical. Just look at this valley. I don't know, boss. Maybe we all just got too much riding on this. We already have one dead planet in the rear view. If we screw this one up, do it. Maybe we won't. Sure, maybe this is really it. Maybe we can finally stop sleeping with our guns under our pillows, stop worrying about food every goddamn day. Believe me, boss. I want this to work. You have no idea. But, well, people don't change. Still got your money on black, huh? Well, the house always wins. That last day got really hairy. I wasn't sure if any of us were gonna make it. We cut it pretty close. You can't stop thinking about it either. I know. It's insane. It was 80 years ago. Yeah, it feels like days. My knuckles are still sore, my ears still ringing from all the gunfire. I mean, there were thousands of them, all climbing over each other, slaughtering everyone in their way, and tried to pull down the launch tower to bash in the doors of our shuttles. I've been in a lot of war zones, but that was fucking anarchy. Look, it was either us getting off the planet or them, but we just did what we had to do. We do what we have to do. We look out for each other. Hell, we better. Other than the Captain Cusper, you're the only person left alive I know. 
I'm the only person left alive worth knowing. <laughs> I'm glad you made it on board, you old bastard. Me too. Time to test my gear. Uh, up for some target practice, boss. Let's get started. stuff yeah a new toy you're the first one to test it out boss think you could take on a tank just like riding a bike I'll give that sidearm a try, eh? Nice. Haven't lost your touch. All right, you can stop showing off. Years has improved your aim. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. I wish you could have seen this dad. Hey. You're Shira, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Can you believe this landscape? It's so beautiful. Now, if only we had an internet to post those to. It's for a scientific record. <laughs> Besides, we'll have the internet up and running in the first six months. The entire thing was backed up. I'm just pulling your leg, Shira. Any luck with the probe? The scan's still running. I don't know what else I can do, it's just... How can the probe signals have simply vanished? Yeah, they said it was some kind of interference or something? Ah, from space, maybe, but not from down here. Still, seems initial readings were right. We're breathing. Yes, but before the ECA can authorize half a million more people coming here, we need the probe's data to know we can support them. And if we can't? What's the ECA's plan B? Do you have any questions I could answer, to? All right, tell me the truth. You think the ECA thought this whole plan through? Well, my father was part of the team that designed the plan. My entire life he helped prepare for this day. The greatest undertaking of human history. Oh, so that's how you got on the ship, huh? Daddy smoothed your way? No. I studied engineering, spent years in orbit, designed structure, drilling rivets into the hull. I helped build that ship. So you earned your way on. Good for you. It was my father. Just not like the way you thought. He gave up his place for me. He stayed behind. Shit, I'm, uh, sorry. He would have been in awe of this place. But in the end, it's just me. It's strange not knowing anyone here. When this is over, come hang out with us. We're not such a bad bunch. I might take you up on that.
How is this colonization gonna work? You're in the planning rooms, right? Yes. We've already started disassembling the engine. We need to bring that down first. The nuclear core should give us enough power to get the colony up and running. And when do the civilian pods start coming down? Within a few weeks, if all goes well. First, just enough people and resources to get our infrastructure running. You know, water, food, and shelter. Then we'll keep waking folks from cryo, a few thousand at a time, no more than we can feed. Until before you know it, you'll be standing in the middle of a city. And meanwhile, the floor stays up there? The ship was built in orbit. It was never meant to land. We'll have to keep it in our skies until we're capable of space flight again. One day, maybe. Hey, is that supposed to blink that way? Oh, 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 oh. That's a probe. Tanner, I think we got a signal. It's close. Excellent work, Outrider. Now go locate the damn thing so we can land this beauty. Copy that. Hey, it's an historic moment. We should document it. For the scientific record, huh?